Welcome back at the Resniman Park in Kempton Park. We'll come uh, to live uh, today uh, through the tribute festival for jazz legend Dr. Johnny Megwa. Dubbed it the B3 Jazz and Soul Picnic, the festival will include a lineup of award magnificent, um, award-winning magnificent artists and DJs from the country, while pure jazz enthusiasts will be treated to the global acclaimed sounds of Paul Hanmer and McCoy Monk Mulelekwa Band uh, and uh, sought after trumpeter Ndumiso Nyovani and the Johnny Mekwa Gauteng Music Orchestra Band. Well, the lineup will also give a platform to young upcoming artists who will be showcasing their talents. To tell us more, we are joined uh, in the studio by Pindi uh, Lu, uh, Head of Marketing, and Mrubata Mokoi, who is a legendary musician who is a part of the cause of the lineup to help. A very good morning, gentlemen, and thank you so much for being here on the show. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Why was it morning. so important to remember that day, John, and to put together this uh, amazing festival? Uh, maybe let me just try by clarifying. I'm not Pindim Kailu, I'm Matthew Smukhafe. Oh, thank you so uh, much. The chairman. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Matthew. But coming back to your, to your question, the, why we are paying tribute to Dr. Johnny Mekwa. If you look at Ntate uh, Mekwa, what he has done by creating the academy, and uh, he was responsible for, bring, for training the youngsters, developing them, you know. And today, as we look around, we have great youngsters who are good musicians, and all they are coming from the hands of Dr. Johnny Mekwa. Mm. As such, that's why we feel, you know, he's a hero, he's a mentor, and uh, he deserves to be celebrated at mm. all times. And how would you uh, describe the late great as a musician? How, how, what are some of the things or words or adjectives that you would use to describe him? I know he had a big personality and he loved his music. I was just going to say, you know, <laughs> big personality. And I helped a lot of us. And um, I remember, you know, when he went to study, it, you know, in the 80s, I was in my 20s, I was in his 40s already. I was surprised because then they just opened these institutions for blacks to study music, you know. So he was bold and little did we know that he had a plan, you know, to open up a school so we could share, you, 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 know, you know, the knowledge of music and teach because we come from a background where we learned music mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, on the streets, shipping and stuff like that. So he changed this culture, you know, of, of having, you know, a formal education for music, you know. Mm -hmm. He was a great person. Mm -hmm. He really was interested in Dr. Matthew in uplifting young people and he contributed so much uh, in the lives of young people who love music. Talk to us about the partnership and the relationship with B3 um, and, and, and Dr. John. Okay, let me start by saying firstly Dr. Johnny Mekwa, he was a friend, friend to me. You, you know, we used to chill together and I used to support him, you know, uh, big time as an individual, but also as our company, B3. Mm -hmm. And uh, that made us, you know, to get to be so closer. And I got to be touched by seeing what he does to the community. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we felt the, the, the support. And as such, that today, you know, we are paying tribute to him. Mm. Mm. Let's talk about the lineup. I mean, we are seeing some very big fancy names on for that sure, lineup. Sure. What can people who are coming through expect? Uh, they can expect good music. That's going to be a nice build up, you know, starting with jazz, you know, Monk Lelequa, myself and Paul Henman, Ndumi Signovane. And um, please help me. With yeah, <laughs> then, you know, as we say, yeah. you know, that flow then yes. will then go to be funky a little bit later yeah. where you know there will be Vusinova, Zonke, then thereafter, you know, uh, followed by DJs, you know, KG Moketsi, Paul Mutirara and, and DJ DJ Lamini, mm. you know. These are all the guys who will be there, you know, really entertaining people. And if you look at the weather today it's so fantastic. It's stunning. Yes, you <laughs> know, one is just looking for some great day of fun mm. and enjoyment. What events and festivals are doing nowadays is that they they really seek to give back to, to the community in, in one way or another. So they, you know, take on social responsibility projects or they sponsor a charity from some of the proceeds. Is there something like that, uh, similar to that, or uh, are there plans to do something like <coughs> that in the future? 
Definitely from, from the B3 side, you know, we, we are there to, to, to support the school. And uh, even in this festival, you know, there is something that will be going to uh, the academy. And, uh, we, you know, we feel very proud and uh, we, we are not ashamed of doing it. Yeah. You know, uh, we think uh, Bra Bra Dr. Johnny Mekwa deserves it. He has done it all and he has trained our youngsters. I've said mm -hmm. initially that uh, there are so many. You know, those who want to see real fun, come and see what we are talking about because they will be also be performing. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yes. And uh, let's talk about your set. Yes. What do you have in store particular for the audiences that are coming through today? Well, we're going to, you know, give people a popular songs and new stuff, you know. But they're lucky because they're having a, a two in one. You know, Paul Helmer is going to bring on his hits. We're using one band yeah. and uh, it's going to be great. You know, it's going to be <laughs> lovely, you know, you know. Awesome stuff. And how can people who are perhaps, you know, those late minute people who haven't gotten their tickets, are they going to be able to uh, cut through today or will they simply have to wait for the next one? Definitely they can, they can come today. What we have done, we have uh, organized a, a mobile computer ticket, mm -hmm. which will be there. You know, those latecomers, they will also be able to get their tickets from. Awesome LK. stuff. And I guess security and all of that, top-notch, plenty of parking. Yes, definitely. You, you know, the, the, the venue is also a, a good venue. Yeah. You know, it accommodates uh, uh, parking. And, 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 and as, I, as we say, today is just going to be a good day. Awesome stuff. We are looking forward to it. Just to round it off, what can we expect from you? What is still to come in terms of your music? <coughs> well, I'm going to be releasing a DVD, you know. you know, yeah. There's a concert I did at the Market Theatre where we was coming uh, celebrating my 60th birthday mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, 19-piece band, you know, 20 with me. So that's coming out. And another project that I started with uh, guys from <coughs> David Tin is called Strings Attached, you know, string players plus a, a, a jazz quartet. So that, that's going to be coming up, you know, soon. And I'm promoting my current album, you know, Brass Cup Sessions Volume 3. So it's still fresh, you know. Ah, oh, awesome mm -hmm. stuff. Thank you guys both for coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for honoring uh, the great Ntate Joni. He really made a big contribution onto the South African music scene mm -hmm. and especially yes. touched yes. a lot of young people's lives. We appreciate your work. Thank you so much. Thanks also for the support. All right. So that was uh, Ndate Matthew together with Mrobata um, McCoy talking to us about the B3 Jazz Festival, which is set to take place today at uh, Dries Neman Park in Kempton Park. If you do not have your tickets, don't worry. There is a mobile computer ticket and you can still get your tickets the weather is fantastic there'll be lots to eat lots to drink you can mingle with friends and family so why not come through and celebrate the icon the great that we all loved and adored